Thanks, Melody. And also on St. Croix, a man was arrested in the Christiansted boardwalk recently. 45-year-old Wayne Stoddard of Strand Street was arrested for third-degree assault and possession of an unlicensed firearm. Apparently, Wayne Stoddard was acting irrationally and was pointing a gun at some of the people on the waterfront in Christiansted. That's when two bike patrolmen ordered him to drop the weapon. Finally, after some coaxing from the police officers, Stoddard dropped the weapon to the ground with himself as well. And in other news tonight, two St. Croix senators held a press conference earlier today about the recent trip to Philadelphia. There, they attended several legislative workshops and sessions. When you looked at these education committees on swine flu and poverty and the food to plate with agriculture and the economy and energy, did you have any sessions on government corruption and how to fight government corruption and how to get the message out to the people so that they would be better equipped uh, to prevent government corruption in their area? Yes, uh, as it relates to legislative oversight or oversight against government corruption or oversight in general, it's, we have, this is a modern world as it relates to technology, and we must put systems in place that monitors every intake as it relates to cash flow of government. And there must be proper uh, uh, collection of this data to put in financial reporting systems where reports can be given. It's all accounting, it's a science, it's an accounting process which must be integrated throughout the, all government agencies. Uh, where it talks about corruption, we cannot hope on individuals always being of good moral and ethical value and, and exhibiting that. So what you must have in place for any organization is proper accounting procedures and checks and balances, internal controls to prevent the easy access to government funds. As you relate, as you spoke on the governors uh, using government monies for this building and there's allegations that others may have and there's many allegations about other uses or misuses of government funds. The way to prevent that is proper accounting. Uh, if the, the Virgin Islands Treasury is vulnerable, and that what if it says anything to us, the biggest message is how vulnerable it is. I've been financier for two years. No one can tell us precisely how much government collects annually. If you're not collecting, and if you don't know from the onset how much your total underscore total revenues are, then you are ready from the start losing as it relates to accountability. What are the senators going to do about our judicial system? What pressure can you put on the judges? If not the judges, then the laws that they're governing. Something's got to give senators. Can you do something about our judicial system? Can you put any pressure on what's happening? As you know, there are three separate branches of government, equal and but separate branches of government. Uh, judicial, the judicial branch being one of them. Of course, uh, it, it's up to us to review to see if it is the laws that's the problem. I would point to maybe the problem that we're looking at is the lack of appropriate infrastructure to retain individuals for a long period of time. If you notice, recently we brought back some 100 prisoners, and I'm not against that, but the concern I do have is, uh, have we repaired, have we enhanced the infrastructure to accommodate individuals who violate the law? So we're talking about if we're serious about crime, we need to, and we're talking about juvenile crime as well. We need to have the proper facilities to not only house them and warehouse them until we let them back out more angry, more bitter, and ready to do more violent crimes, but that can also rehabilitate and, and, and reconstruct their thinking, meaning you have adequate space and adequate professionals coming in, teaching them a craft so that you give them a livable skill because we should send the message clear, and I'll say today, that we will not tolerate the criminal activity running around our, our population, having individuals scared to come out. We as a government, we as a society, a collective society, must let the criminal element understand that we will not tolerate being preyed upon. We will not tolerate having to be afraid to go out at night. We will not tolerate having to be afraid of when our children are out. We must be serious about it. And if it means that's where you borrow money, you need to borrow to build a new jail, then do it then they'll see that they were serious about it. And within the jail, must have programs where you're, you're not just sitting around watching TV, but you're out here doing your service to, for violating the laws of society. That we have the manpower that can watch you as you come and work in some of these sick buildings that government have. That you come and you work and make sure that we have the proper crops growing so that our elderly and seniors can... It's time to be serious about it and to make sure that we're spending the money in the right, in the right place. It's about prior, prioritizing. Healthcare, crime two big issues in the Virgin Islands. And tied to that 
is education because some of the crime is happening because of some of the, the deficiencies in our educational system. The program, paying the, the after school uh, tourists to, to stay. That's where you spend money on the service level. And, you know, I don't mean to get emotional, but it's getting to the point I never, I came home, back home, to raise my children in the Virgin Islands as Caribbean people. There were certain things you never had to worry about as raising children as you do in America. Thanks, Wes. And we have more news for you after the break. Stay with us. There'll be a huge Jehovah Witnesses convention on St. Croix this weekend. News Channel 8's Wes Small has the details. We're here at Jehovah's Witness. I'm here with Ministers Tutine and also Acevedo. This is their annual district uh, Jehovah's meeting here. And as you can, convention. And as you can see in back of us, the brothers and sisters are very busy. Smells good. Some big cakes back there and everything. And an important message that is going to be going through our territory, sir. Yes, uh, we're inviting the general public that will be viewing this this evening to our annual district convention. Keep on the watch. That's the theme. And those are words from Jesus Christ encouraging his followers to keep on the watch because very soon this entire wicked system of things will come to an end. So the convention really is to encourage interested ones, those who love God and read the Bible, to come down. It's on this weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Each session begins on 9.20 a.m. on Saturday, Friday and Saturday. It concludes at 5 p.m. And then on Sunday, it starts at 9.20 and it concludes at 4 p.m. If you can't make it all three days, we're making a special request for you to come on Sunday. We've been having a campaign to invite the people of St. Croix. Uh, as you know, Mr. West, you've probably seen us in your neighborhood uh, with a special invitation. On Sunday, we're going to answer the question by means of several symposia, how we could survive the end of the world. So please come. And then Sunday afternoon, we have a special treat for the young people of St. Croix. It's uh, based on uh, the prodigal son. We, we know that from the Bible. And uh, it's going to be in a modern context. So I'm sure the young people will, will enjoy it. It begins at 1.30 uh, Sunday afternoon. All right. And uh, Minister Acevedo, where is the event? Yes, we're here at the Assembly Hall of Jehovah's Witnesses in North Carlton Road, Fredericksted, about a mile, half a mile from the main, line, main right. road. Right. And uh, uh, well located and well situated. Uh, Jehovah's Witnesses are coming from Tortola from Virgin Gorda, St. John, St. Croix, and we expect about 900 people here. And we invent, invite people of all religions because this is a, a truly a Bible meeting. Okay. And it's free, no collections will be made ever. And I just wanted to mention too that the Spanish population will have a, the same convention next week in St. Thomas in the Antilles Academy. Why don't we put that out in Spanish for them? You want me to speak Spanish? Why not? Okay, get ready. <laughs> la semana que viene los testigos de Jehová vamos a tener la misma asamblea o asamblea de distrito en St. Thomas, la Antilles Academy in the Mark Marine uh, Pavilion there. Y esperamos invitar a todos los hispanohablantes en St. Thomas, St. John, Tortola y St. Croix. Si puede ir, viernes que viene, 21 de agosto, hasta el 23. Así que esperamos verles allá. Y igual que esta semana, lo que se está celebrando en inglés aquí, se va a programar allá en español. Right. Thank you. You're welcome. So there you have it. It's the district uh, convention for the Jehovah's Witness. Please make sure that you take part in that worship. I'm Wes Small for News Channel 8. Thanks, Wes. And we have your Sports 411 update for you coming up next on News Channel 8. Stay with us.